The eyewitness account said that the bandit struck at about 8.30 p.m. during the Isha prayers, asking the congregation to lie down and that it was at this process of gagging with the bandit that the disease who was attempting to resist led to the shooting of the disease and his wife and daughter taken away by the bandits. Some sympathizers speaking in Hausa said that the people of Merua and its environs have lost a regime who devoted his lifetime and resources to assisting the common man. Added information revealed that the bandits also adopted an Islamic teacher and his assistants who were returning from Tafsir in a nearby village. Some of the federal and state government delegations, including Senator Mukhtar Dendusi, described the demise as not only a loss to the Meirua community but the nation at large. We are very, very determined to ensure that uh, peace and security of this uh, country is being restored and is being the paramount importance of any government. That is why we have a fruitful discussion with Mr. President and the Commander in Chief to see reason on the very important uh, issue of security which he promised to engage the local vigilante and the security network to flush out all these criminals at any point in time. Gabriel okay. ITV News.